Hello and welcome back. In this uh, lesson, we're going to look at variables in C Sharp. Um, our, out our learning outcomes uh, for this particular lesson um, will look at uh, the a little bit more about the C Sharp language. Uh, for example, C Sharp would be considered a managed code environment. Uh, basically, that means the memory uh, management is automatic. Okay, uh, C Sharp is also a compiled language, so that means uh, there's an extra step when we actually write the code that we actually compile it into machine code before we run it and see it. That's unlike uh, languages like PHP, where they actually have to, it's considered an interpretive language, and that's um, uh, how, the, how, uh, how we interpret it rather than compiled. Uh, C Sharp is also object orientated. Okay, uh, the way we can think of this is everything in C Sharp that we do in this part, of course, would be everything is an object. Okay, there are things in C Sharp that aren't, not, but everything is going to be an object. Uh, also, another thing about the language is there are no global functions or variables. Uh, so, like uh, PHP would have uh, uh, super variables or, or, or global variables, as they're called. And again, uh, the the likes of C Sharp would not have that. Okay, everything is in classes. Uh, we'll also look at the assignment operator in this lesson um, and how we assign uh, a piece of data to a variable. Okay, and uh, typing our data types that every variable must be we must declare the actual type of data that it is. Okay, so let's um, uh, let's pop over to the code and and do a little bit. Uh, uh, by example. So we've started up our C-sharp compiler uh, and you can see here on the uh, opening screen again I can see there uh, I can have a start new project or open an existing project and you can also see my recent projects here like intro to C-sharp which was the last one we done earlier on. Okay, now again, the last time we went, we went file and new project. Again, we could also just from the start screen here click new project. Okay, and uh, it will, it's the same as uh, we had went in. You can see there it's bringing up the last one we've done uh, the uh, Visual C Sharp, Windows, and a console application, and that's what I want again today. Uh, again, we're going to continue on the console for the next few, le uh, 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 next, uh, few lessons. Uh, again, uh, that way we're not cluttered up with the the idea of the designing Windows forms. We can just go ahead and concentrate on the code. Okay, uh, I'm going to call this var ex. Again, a good uh, idea there. Whenever you're naming uh, any of your um, um, uh, projects, a stick ex on the end, just in case you accidentally give it a, a C sharp word, a refined word. But again, I'll come to that later on and click OK. And like that again, uh, our C Sharp again will, will open up and... OK, and there you can see we have our screen up. As you can see here, I've already enlarged the text, so it should make it a little bit easier to see it on the screen. And uh, you can see there's my Solution Explorer with uh, everything there. I'm actually just going to close this Properties window as well. I don't particularly need that at this point. Uh, again, program CS is which is the uh, program we're running here. Again, I'm going to go inside my main method this time in program CS, and I'm going to do uh, uh, declare a variable. Okay, and how do I do this? Okay, first of all, I must put in the uh, data type. Okay, and I'm just going to type in the string, and you can see there string starts coming up for me already. So string and uh, I'm going to give this a name so uh, I'll call it uh, my name uh, okay string my name okay and terminate the line uh, so you can see there my name has now been declared as a string so it's a variable uh, I, I can assign some data to it later on in a minute okay but notice there the type here so the string means it's going to be a set of alphanumeric characters okay uh, assigned to that okay I can also if I had uh, let's say I wanted age okay uh, as a uh, okay and I'll terminate the line there now notice there when I put in age 
uh, I got a red squiggly underline. Okay, again, because I've put in, uh, I've named uh, this variable I want as age, but I haven't given it a data type. Uh, so again, if I want to do some calculations on it, okay, like uh, uh, when is my next birthday or something like that, uh, I, it needs to be declared as a numeric type. In this case, I'm going to declare it as an int, okay, for integer. Now notice as well on our screen, we have string uh, my name and int age. Uh, again, now what's ha I can see a green squiggly underline here, and a green squiggly underline there. Again, uh, Microsoft being Microsoft, uh, again it is, uh, it is showing us it's uh, that it's an error, but not a fatal error. It's saying you've declared a variable, but you haven't used it in your program. Uh, now again, I'll come along and we'll use uh, we'll use these now in a second. Now I've declared. This is known as declaring a variable. I can also now assign it a value. So uh, I'm going to come up here beside my name and assign it a value and I'm going to use the assignment operator which is just an equal to sign. Okay, and now I'm going to give it a, a value. Okay, and I'll type in the string Damien. Okay, uh, again I still have my green squiggly underline. Okay, and now for age I'm going to assign uh, a variable there um, uh, 50. Okay so you can see there I've assigned the value 50 to the variable age and I've assigned the string Damien to the variable my name. Okay so uh, again notice the, the way the string will go in inside a, a set of inverted commas similar to the way we have we, we done our hello world in the last exercise uh, there. How do I use uh, these strings? Again, I can use my console right line. Now, remember how we done this, our console. Uh, again, I can click on it or just tab, uh, okay, dot right line. Okay, and I got to write the line out here. Now, this is a method which I can use. Uh, so, I, I want to, uh, now remember in the last one as well, we had a console read line. Um, and, so, uh, and we used this uh, to uh, keep the program open while we ran our code. Okay, now if I type in uh, console.writeline and if I type in the variable my name, my now the minute I start typing, you can see there it has taken the uh, the variable my name, it's treating it now as an object. I can see that there from the, the local variable, and I'll just tab that in. Okay, now notice uh, a couple of things here. Notice the green squiggly line has gone from under my name, okay, uh, because I'm now using the variable in the program. So let's run this piece of code. Now notice that it's going to build and run even though there was still an error underneath the uh, the age one, the, the green squiggly underline. And again, as I said there, it's, uh, it's an error, but it's not a fatal error. The program will still run. Uh, and you can see here it's displayed the variable uh, string there, the, the, my name Damien, okay, uh, on the uh, console output. Okay, so I, well, I'll just close this there, give it a bit more space. And again, likewise, if I typed in the uh, age, uh, let's say you can see there it's rather than that. Now notice now that if, uh, if I run the code, Okay, you can see the uh, int 50 has appeared on the console output. Okay, also notice here on the code that the green squiggly line has gone from underneath the age because I'm using it in the thing, but it's reappeared under my name because I'm not uh, using that anymore. Now again, uh, we can use what's known as concatenation in, uh, um, in, in C Sharp, again, just like any other language. And how I'll do this, I'm going to type in a string. Okay, uh, um, my name is, okay, close off that string, and I'll just take out age there since so it's like, uh, and I'm going to use the plus uh, here to, and that the, the plus is, uh, is going to concatenate the my name variable. Okay, so you can see the my name variable has gone in there. 
uh, uh, and concatenate that with okay uh, my age uh, and I'm gonna put in um, and I am uh, okay close that off and concatenate that now with the variable age okay so my name is and it brings in the variable and I am 50 okay so let's run this piece of code okay I'm going to bring it down there so you can see there my name is that's the string and then it brings in the variable Damien and I am 50 okay and we're now waiting for it okay again uh, with the with the C sharp as well uh, you, there's a couple of other things I could write this another way okay using what's called string format okay so let's uh, let's do this I'm just going to now again what I can I'm going to just take out a little bit of I'm just going to take out uh, I use what's called a comment here and a comment is a forward slash forward slash and what this will do is the code uh, the the compiler will just ignore that piece of code when it goes to compile the, the okay so I'm going to do a console dot right line again okay uh, but this time I'm going to write it in a different way okay I'm going to type in uh, like this um, a string um, my name is now watch when I put in the brace here uh, brace and I'm going to put in zero okay and I um, okay another brace and one okay and I am 50 years old okay and I'll close off that string there okay what what is this zero in between the brace and the one here what's this all about okay basically what's was said it's going to apply the variable uh, in the order that I put it on uh, after the string so let's uh, I'll put in a comma and I'll put in the variable uh, name or my name my name and comma uh, age okay so how does that look okay so again it's going to my name is okay and is zero so it takes the first one here again when we're counting in anything to do in C sharp we'll come to this later on we always start at zero one two three again zero being the first value so it goes to the first value after the comma which is my name and then uh, this it carries on with the string I am it comes to this uh, and it then goes to the again which is uh, the second one in this case so it goes to the second one age 50 okay and this is known as string format okay so let's compile this code and run it so I'll run that and you can see there we see it exactly the same way I'll just put it underneath it there there okay my name is Damien and I am 50 years old okay so that's where it picked up uh, and got that data okay uh, we'll continue on a little bit more I'll close this video off now and we'll we'll do a, a little bit more on reading and writing uh, to and from the console uh, which is an extension here of the variable program thank you for your attention